but none so strange as the story of this small boy named Mowgli. It all began when the silence of the jungle was broken by an unfamiliar sound. in the front entrance of the wolf's lair while he watched from behind a bush. Bahira was relieved to see Raksha and Rama, the mother and father of the wolves, accept Mowgli into their path. Ten times the break, time passed. Ten times the rain came and went. Bagheera often stopped by to see how Mowgli, the man cub, was getting along. Mowgli was well acquainted with jungle life and was a favorite with all of the young wolf cubs. No man cub was ever happier. Yet Bagheera knew that someday he would have to go back to his own kind. One night, the wolf pack elders met at Council Rock because Shere Khan, the menacing tiger, had returned to their part of the jungle. This meeting was to change the man cub's entire future. Shark Khan will surely kill the man cub and all of those who protected them. Now, it is my unpleasant duty to, to tell the. Now, are we all in an agreement? Now, it is my unpleasant duty to tell the boy's father. Rama, follow your place. Yes, Akira. The council has made a decision. The man cub can no longer stay with the pack. He must leave at once. Leave? I'm sorry, Rama, but there's no other way. But for the, for the man cub is my own son. Surely he's in touch with the pack of the pack. Rama, even the strength of the pack is no match for a tiger. But the boy cannot, cannot survive alone in the jungle. Akila? Perhaps I could be of help. You, Bagheera? How? <laughs> I know from Mandush where you'll be safe. Mowgli and I have taken many walks into the jungle together. I'm sure he'll go with me. So be it. There's no time to lose. Good luck. <laughs> Immediately that very night, Bagheera took Mowgli and set out to the man village. Mowgli was none the wiser and thought that they were just out for their usual walk. Bagheera, I get a little sleepy. Shouldn't we stop back home? Mowgli, this time we're not going back. I'm taking you to a man village. Oh, wow. The Sheer Khan has returned to this part of the jungle. And he's sworn to kill you. Kill me? Why would he want to do that? He hates men. And Shere Khan won't allow you to grow up to become a man. Just another hunter uh -oh. with a gun. Uh, we'll just explain to him that I'll never do a thing like that. Nonsense. No one explains anything to Shere Khan. Well, maybe so, but I'm not playing. And besides, I... Now, that's enough. We'll spend the night here. Things will look better in the morning. Now, go on. Up this street, the same road there. But I don't want to go back to the man village. Go on, up you go. Then way up there. Try it. <laughs> Mowgli tried to climb up the tree, but it was too big and slippery for him to grasp on. He didn't have claws after all. The gear I helped him, and with some grunting, got Mowgli into the tree. Yeah. 
get some sleep. We have a long, got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. But I want to stay back in the jungle. <laughs> it wouldn't last one day. I don't know why I can look at the bike stuff. <laughs> Say now, what have we here? It's a man cub. A delicious man cub. So go away and leave me alone. Oh, that's just what I should do, but I'm not. Now please, go to sleep, man cub. Yes, man cub. Please go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Save your life. 
in this world, what have I run on, what a pretty thing this is. Well, now that's a pretty big part of the friendship. I do it. <laughs> Come on, that's it. <laughs> He's a dandy. Hey, hey, fine teacher you are, old iron paws. Yeah, tell me, tell me after you knock your pupil senseless, how do you expect him to learn the lesson? Well, I, I didn't mean to lay out it on him so hard. Thank you. 
to use your skin with. That was the bare necessities. Turn him loose and I will jerk the knot in your tail. Your tail. Here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa. Whoa. Catch me. Hello. Back up. Faster. Faster. Faster.
reached the lull. They could hear the music coming from inside, so they made their way towards it. From an opening, they could see Mowgli and Louie dancing together. Would you? I don't know. Ah, come to think of it, 
No panther ever asked me. <laughs> but you have got to be serious about this. Oh, stop worrying, Shaggy. Stop worrying. I'll take care of him. Yes, like we did when the monkeys kidnapped him, huh? Can't a guy make one mistake? <laughs> not in the jungle, and another thing sooner or later. The monkey will meet you upon. The tiger? What's he got against the kid? Uh, he hates men with the vengeance and knows that because he feels men's gun and men's fire. But little Mowgli don't have those things. Then, uh, uh Shia Khan won't wait until he does. He'll get Mowgli while he's gonna help us just one swipe. No! Well, what are we gonna do? We'll do what's best for the boy. You better believe it. You name it now, I'll do it. Uh, then will then make Mowgli go to the mad village. Are you out of your mind? I promised him he could stay here in the jungle with me. That's just a point. As long as he remains with you, he's in danger, so it's up to you. Why me? Because you won't listen to me. I love that kid. I love him like he was my own cub. So, it's morning now. For I think that thing of what's best for Mount and not yourself. Well, can't I? Well, can I wait until morning? Go on. It's morning now. Go on, Blue. Oh, boy. Uh, Mowgli. Mowgli. Uh, it's time to get up. Oh. Hi. Rub that sleep out of your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, eh? We've got a long walk ahead of us. I wonder if you can make a new hair sale. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hit the trail, kid. See you around, eh, Bagheera. Bye, Bagheera. We'll leave you after you. I've got to find him. 